Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you guys? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Hello. Welcome. Welcome Hello. to this module, which is basic three. My name is Hugo Vasquez, and I will be working with you. It's a pleasure to be here and you know to have you in the session. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very good. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Okay, un par de cositas. Um, recordemos de revisando ahorita. Creo que algunos tienen solamente, bueno, voy a hacer para asegurarme si es que parecen hacer el Louis. Recuerden que tenemos, debemos tener, poner su nombre, tal y como parece en el Louis. Okay. Tienes que verificar que algunos solo tienen un nombre y un apellido. No sé si solamente tienen o si aparecen en el RUI. Por, por ejemplo, Vicky García, Astrid López. Uh, let me see, who else? Astrid González. No nos olvide. Creo que quizás debemos de corregir algunos. Debemos de aparecer. Um, con el nombre tal y como aparece en el dúo. Ahora, que tengamos en cuenta ese detalle. Primero que debemos de tomar en cuenta, así como se nos pone bueno, en, en el chat, para que no haya okay. ningún problema. Okay, porque tengo aquí algunos. Karen Renata Flores, por ejemplo, no sé si solo lo aparece o no. Bueno, con dos nombres, o, bueno, solo un apellido, como has dicho. Carla Rivera, por ejemplo. Verifiquemos eso, por favor. Podemos cambiarlo ahorita para que esté todo en orden. Digamos, debe de aparecer nuestro nombre completo, los dos nombres y dos apellidos, como aparecen en el doble. ¿Ok? Well, can everybody listen to me? ¿Escucha? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. One more time, welcome everybody. Good evening. My name is Hugo Vasquez. I will be in charge of the group, basic three. Nice to meet you, everybody. Let's begin. And well, I want to want to pass attendance before to, to begin. Because we're going to have the control in here. All right. Mm -hmm. Please, once you listen to your name, stay present, please, stay present. Let's begin. Alberto Espinosa. Hi, present teacher. Hi. Nice. Ana Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana, oh, I have Ana Vicky Garcia. Ana Francesca Garcia, primero? Yes, teacher, present. Okay, Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. Astrid. Díaz. Present. Thank you. Astrid Muñoz. Present. Thank you. Bessie Avalos. Present. Great. Bessie Flores. Present, teacher. Thanks. Cesar Martinez. Present. Cesar Arriola. Cesar Arriola. Are you? Okay. Salida Galicia. Salida Galicia. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Okay. Claudia Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Delmi Peña. Present teacher. Ernesto García. Present teacher. Thanks. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay. 
Angelina Linares. Present teacher. Very good. Iliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay. Ivan Patis. Present. Okay. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Okay. Joana Navarro. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Espinosa. Jorge Espinosa. Right here. Yeah, uh, present teacher. Thank you. C. Barrientos. Present, present. Okay. Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. C. Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Carballo. Present. Okay. Karen Natalie. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Renata Flores. Pres present teacher. Thanks. Carla Ariela Granado. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Patricia Rivera. Present teacher. And Carla Stephanie Rosa. Present teacher. All right. Well, then I have everybody in the meeting. I will repeat that the following people, because I'm not sure in this case if I am, I made a mistake. Cesar Martinez. Yeah, present. Okay, Cesar Arriola. Cesar Arriola. Okay, I think. He is absent right now. It is ahorita ausente, Cesar Arriola. All right, let's continue. Well, welcome everybody, one more time, good evening. My name is Hugo Vasquez and I will be in charge of the group. Like I said before, just basic three. Um, well, something that I want to point out related to the module, remember, is that we have to fulfill <inaudible> with all you know, all the things that are required in the module, okay? Algo que quiero hacer emphasis es con respecto a como se nos ha indicado, con respecto a la plataforma, como se completa todo, uh, y tener ese 80%, okay? Si es más, mucho mejor. Debemos de mantener ese porcentaje, ese 80%, um, no debe ser menos, así que yo confío en que todo vamos a Bien, okay. vamos a tener más porcentaje de Es que recordarles de, de eso antes de iniciar, por favor, de mantener el 70%. Lo segundo es la asistencia. Recuerden que es obligatorio irse a las sesiones. Por el momento, solo, bueno, tengo a César Arriba en acá, no sé si puedo utilizar el micrófono. Voy a volver a pasar lista al final. Es que para asegurarme que todos estén, ya que vamos a llevar el control. Voy a estar yo poniendo en el listado quiénes estuvieron presentes, quiénes no. Que, por favor, si no mencioné a alguien, dígame. Pero por el momento sí los mencioné a todos y todos están. Tengo 30 participantes en el club. Es que más adelante voy a pasar lista. Por el momento son dos veces y final. A lo siguiente es con respecto, bueno, decía la asistencia, por favor, le damos la asistencia, es el cual el 80%, pero no quiere decir que ah, okay, voy a faltar dos veces, por ejemplo, debemos estar siempre presentes, presentes, no nos olviden, para mantener ese porcentaje al 100, bien, y no tener ningún inconveniente luego. ¿Ok? Lo otro es con respecto a la plataforma. Bien es cierto, debemos de mantener el 80%. Debemos ir completando, así como se nos, se nos, nos dijo en la, la reunión que nos recibieron ustedes. Ah, debemos ir completando todas las actividades para que esos promedios se nos vayan haciendo. Y con respecto al meter, 
eh, para ustedes también debemos completarlo, ir completando la plataforma, ir al día, y bueno, si avanzamos, va a ser mucho mejor, eh, no hay ningún problema, ustedes pueden avanzar. Algo que se les digo quizás en la reunión es de que uh, no hay ningún problema si, si tenemos, por ejemplo, errores y lo podemos volver a hacer. Claro, lo pueden hacer a veces que quieran. La idea es practicar y que tengan uh, el mejor resultado. Es que podemos repetir algún ejercicio cuantas veces queramos. Es que desde ya se los, se los hacemos a ver, aunque creo que ya estamos enterados de eso, pero lo repito. ¿Qué cosa? Y otra cosita, si tenemos algún problema con la plataforma, por favor, avísenme con tiempo. Me avisan para yo poder reportarlo. En el caso de ustedes ah, hayan intentado con algún ejercicio un montón de veces y sale error y acierta la respuesta, ah, avísenme, mándenme capturas si es posible para yo poder reportarlo y pues, bueno, verificar primero si, si está todo en orden. Si veo que hay algún error, por ejemplo, ya lo voy a reportar a la administración para que ellos se encarguen de eso, puedan hacer ese, esa corrección. Que, por favor, a veces me con tiempo. Lo otro es que recuerden que se les informó acerca de para las sesiones y de poder tener la, la cámara encendida a todos. Porque los que no tenemos la cámara encendida no pueden, no les funciona. Les da pena, no tengan pena, ¿eh? tengan pena, tengan pena conmigo, es que, no, 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 no. Sí, igual tengo que tomar captura de cuando sé todo, en ese caso son todos los 30, 30 participantes. Bueno, de hecho me parecen 32. Creo que... Ok, bueno, pero son todos. Muy importante. Por favor, recuerden tener la cámara encendida y les pido de, de favor que lo hagamos porque voy a aprovechar ahorita tomar la captura, ya que son todos. Oh, recuerden, algo importante. Verifiquemos eso que les decía. Si solo en el sonido nos aparecen solo dos nombres, son dos, sí, probablemente sea un nombre, dos, dos apellidos, cuando se aparezcan los nombres, si solo un apellido, está bien. Si es así, estamos en el Google, no se preocupe. Hago la pregunta y hago la aclaración, por pues si alguien no lo hizo. Estoy verificando nuevamente. Ok, veo todo en orden. Vicky García, en su caso, así aparece en el Google. ¿Cómo Vicky García? Eh, Ana Vicky García Mercado. Ese es mi computador. Okay. Pero Vicky García, sí. Así okay. lo he tenido en los tres cursos. Sí. Ah, ok, ok. No tuvo ningún problema. No, hasta ahorita no. Ok, bueno. Mi recomendación quizás sería esa para que no le vayan a, a decir algo. Que tenga nombre completo, como aparece en el doble. Por favor. Para que no nos vayan a, a decir algo. Ok, um, pero ¿qué más? Bueno, solamente hacer énfasis en eso. Eh, por favor, llevar todo en orden. Llevar todo en orden con respecto a la asistencia, la reforma, etc. Ok, si alguien tiene alguna pregunta antes de iniciar. Bueno, de hecho, por favor, si podemos sonríen, voy a tomar la captura de pantalla, ¿ok? Por favor. Para que no salgamos ahí con dormidos, etc. Otra vez, por favor. Una más, perdón. Un segundo. Okay, I see. Thank you. All right, let's begin. Teacher, excuse Hola. me, Mr. Mr. Hugo. Este, ¿Me puede dar permiso de tener apagada la cámara porque se me traba el internet cuando la tengo encendida? 
Okay. Yo entiendo que hay que pagar, eh, encenderla eh, al principio y al final por efecto de asistencia, pero durante el desarrollo de la clase sí el internet me, de, me da problema después porque me llega el sonido más lento. Entiendo, entiendo. Si es el caso, no hay ningún problema. Que... ¿Cómo no? Thank you. Pero alguien me pregunta en el chat si la otra semana hay clases normales. No, uh, el, bueno, de hecho, el jueves, mañana, mejor dicho, sería la, la, digamos así, la última sesión. Lo hacemos ahora, pero el jueves sería la última y la próxima semana sería la ocasión. Y entre, regresaríamos de, de vacación y iniciaríamos, o en caso, reiniciaríamos el, el clases el próximo 6 de abril. Que, para que tomemos nota ahí. La próxima semana es, estamos libres. Atención. Okay. Teacher, este, yo quería comentarle. Entonces, hoy y mañana serían las dos, dos clases sí. de esta semana. Sí. Fíjense ah. que yo trabajo en el área de eventos y justamente mañana tengo programado uno de las 7 a las 11 de la noche. En oficina puedo mantener, puedo conectarme y todo, pero como o sea, soy la que las superviso, yo tengo que andar afuera. Puedo activar y activar la cámara y tenerlo, o sea, y estar por, por tiempo, porque, o sea, mañana sí, ya está, algo que ya estaba programado en mi trabajo, claro. entonces, o sea, no sé si puedo, por lo menos que usted esté entendido que por eso es que. Claro, claro. Ah, claro. Momentos. Y no hay ningún problema, claro, o sea, me pueden notificar, me pueden notificar acerca de, o sea, algún evento que tenga, pero sí les recomiendo que hagamos lo posible de estar conectados. Ok. ¿Eh? Por favor, porque para que no les afecte la, la, la asistencia. ¿Eh? Gracias por la pregunta. Si alguien más tiene alguna pregunta antes de, de, de iniciar. Bueno, lo último, solo recordarles, porque vi que en el grupo preguntaban acerca de, del formulario, de, que es el comprobante del manual. Ese mañana se les va a enviar, como se lo explicó en el grupo. Mañana se les va a enviar y recuerden que tienen que poner la fecha. En caso no la tenga, yo creo, creería yo que va a ser con la fecha de, de ahora. Si no es el caso, recuerden que debe tener la hora, perdón, la fecha de ahora, de inicio. ¿Qué? Les, les hago ese recuerdo. All right, let's continue. Let's begin. Si creen que voy muy rápido, me avisan, me interrumpen, no se preocupen. Si no me han entendido, igual. Bueno, me dicen, no hay ningún problema, me interrumpen, me interrumpen, me dicen, no lo entendí, o va muy rápido. Okay. okay, let's begin. I will share the screen. Like I said before, my name is Hugo Vasquez, and I am in charge of the group, basic three. Let me share the screen, and I want to know if you can see the screen. Can everybody see it? Me yes, 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 teacher. Bueno, right now, right now, okay. no. After, okay. yes. Okay, no, yes. Let me see it. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, All right. Let's begin. Like I said before, this is phase three, session one. Uh, today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. My name is Hugo Vasquez. Nice to meet you, everybody. We're going to start, and uh, you know, it is hard. It is hard, um, you know, to for you to to introduce yourself because I have a lot of people, and if we if we do it, you know, we, we will take the hour in that activity. So that's why, uh, you know, I I will see you in the in your camera, and of course your names. Uh, I'm so sorry, but you know we have just one hour. Okay, the topic for today is month and dates. Month and dates. We're going to practice with this topic today. We're going to move on and let's begin. El tema de ahora son meses y fechas, right? Or en este caso números ordinales, ordinal numbers. Moving on. Let's begin. Let's start talking about months, months of the year. How many months of the year do we have, guys? How many months of the year do we have? 12. 12, 12, absolutely. 
What months of the year do you know? What months of the March, year? January. March, January, February, February, April, January, May, May, July. January, June, August, July, June, August, September, 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 October, 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 October November, December, November, December, December. Exactly. So you 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 gave me the whole. I mean, all the months. Very good. Those are the months of the year. Okay. Are the months of the year. Listen to me. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. June. I'm sorry. May. May. June, June, July, July, yeah. August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, December, December. Okay, those are the months of the year. You said we have 12, 12 months of the year. Let's practice again. Please listen to me and repeat at the same time. Okay. I know that it is hard to, to that everybody has the microphones on. Because if you see the el, el micrófono que estás, que se mueve repitiendo todos al mismo tiempo, porque vamos a escuchar una sola en Entonces, pero sí podemos ir repitiendo. Que tengamos el micrófono encendido. Please. Let's begin. Month of the year. January. 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 February. January. February. 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 March. 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 April. 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 May. 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 June. 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 July. 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 August. 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 September. 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 October. 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 November. 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 December. 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 Nice. Okay, those are the months of the year. Do you have any questions? No question. Right. Now let's go with something that is called ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers, we use them or we want to say special days. Special days. What, what are some special dates? For example, Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, New Year's Day, etc. Those are some special dates. And we use ordinal numbers because we want to say those special dates. Okay, we have ordinal numbers. Teacher Day. Or days. I'm sorry? Teacher Day. Day. Yeah, Teacher's Day, absolutely, I'm sorry. Teacher's Day, that is another special day. Women's Day, that is another one. Women's Day. We have a lot of a lot of special day in our country and around the world, okay? These are dates, days or ordinal numbers. In some cases, we call them ordinal numbers. So we know that in, in Spanish, what are ordinalis, okay? We have something that is the opposite, cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers, number of cardinals. And we say one, two, three, four, etc. For example, when you say I have one dog, or I have two cards, etc., we use Cardinal numbers because we're saying a quantity. Estamos diciendo una cantidad. Una cantidad. That's why we use cardinal numbers. But if we want to use 
or, or you want to say special days or days, you use ordinal numbers or days. In this case, we don't say one, we don't say two, we don't say three, we don't say 15, we don't say 20, we don't say 25. No, we use ordinal numbers and the pronunciation is different. We say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 15th, 15th, 10th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, I'm going to say 21, we say 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and then we continue. As we can see, it's the same. We have 20, 30, 40, 50, we go on the same way. We start like first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh. We go on that way. 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 30th. Teacher, okay. yeah, okay. excuse me, eh, yo eh, eh, este, lo escucho igual, este, eh, decir seven, o, o, eh, es decir, entendería yo que al final en los números ordinales hay que hacer énfasis en la TH, yeah. para que okay. se escuche la diferencia, pero eh, ¿cómo, la, ¿cómo lo distingue el sonido? O sea, dice seven, oh. este hace como... Como decimos en el salvadoreño, hacemos un soplido. Es decir, you, you, you have to put your tongue in your teeth. Teeth. Okay, teeth. Seven, eight. Tenemos un soplido. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ya no decimos, por ejemplo, seven. Seven. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 10, 10. Teacher, eh, teacher excuse me. Entonces, usted lo que hace que para el final se le escuche el sonido, topa como la lengua al cielo. Yeah. Por okay, eso decirlo. Okay. Ajá, no, sí, pero eso, para su, que se escuche al final el, su, el sonido su, de TH. Su lengua entre, entre sus dientes. Aunque suene chistoso, aunque suene gracioso, pero así es de la forma. Okay. Uh, when you say, por ejemplo, teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Aunque suene gracioso, pero así es la forma. Ponemos nuestra lengua y frenamos entre nuestros dientes. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, 39th, 40th, 41st, 42nd, 43rd, 44th, 8, 29, and 30. That is the way we pronounce it. They are different for me. And as you can see, in the numbers, we have some specific letters. We are small letters. In Spanish, we don't have them. We don't have, well, in Spanish, we have, as you know, this little thing. But, ya yeah, utilizamos, utilizamos, pero es diferente, lo utilizamos así, lo utilizamos así en español. En inglés, um, es diferente. So we have, for example, one, and we have ST, It's because we have this ending, lo que tenemos es la terminación.
Give me a second. Aquí tenemos esa terminación. Por eso en las fechas aparece de esta forma. We go back. Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Se les pone esas, esas pequeñas terminaciones. For second, we add ND. We say second. This is the ending, second. Then for, for third, add RD. And it is third, third. The end. Then we four, fourth. Agregamos TH. Vamos agregando TH con las demás hasta el número 10. Ten. Ok. Continuamos. Llegamos hasta tenth. En este caso, tenth. Continuamos con eleventh, uh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. Vamos agregando pH y es porque de esa forma lo decimos pH. Ya no decimos por. Por. Entonces es por. Entonces es TH. Ok, es then. We don't say ten, ten, ten. Okay, that is the way we say, we pronounce the ordinary numbers for days. Right? Any questions? Preguntas? Questions? No, teacher. Good. Okay, one more time. Listen to me and I need you to repeat it for me. Okay, let's go. First, second, first, third, second, third, fourth, 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 fifth, 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 sixth, 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 seven, seven, seventh, eighth, 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 nine, nine, nine tenth, 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 eleventh. 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 24, 30. Okay. Good. All right. I'm going to move on to the following form. We're going to start 30. saying the dates and we're going to include the month. All right. We're going to talk about some special dates. Teacher. What? How do you say 31? 31st. 31st. Good question. 31st. Yeah. Teacher. We, tell me, tell me. Sure. Teacher, excuse me, and um, why do you put uh, el guion? Oh, it's necessary. It is necessary, yes. You use, for example, these numbers. Okay, so say 30, say 31st. Yeah, in English, in English, we, we have that characteristic. 
that English uses the dash, el guión, the utiliza, the point. 31st, and we continue 32nd. 32nd. Thirty third, thirty third, and we continue thirty fourth, and well, we we finish in this case, go to thirty ninth, and then we go with forty, forty. For it. And this is for it. And then we continue one more time for the first, for the second, for the third. Okay, we continue that way for the first, for the second, etc. That is the way we, we use them. We write the numbers, the ordinal numbers specifically, right? Any questions? Teacher, but dash is only for dates or is for ordinal numbers all? Mm. Well, in this case, when you use cardinal numbers, for example, you, you use them too. For example, when you have 20, 21, sorry. 21, so we know that we use dash. 21, 22, 23, 24. Looking about cardinal numbers. Cardinal numbers. We use them. We use them in, in English. In English. We use them in English. We use them in cardinales or ordinales. Questions? No teacher. Thanks. No teacher. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Sure. The dash is entendido como el guión, verdad? Yeah, that is what we call it. Dash. Say dash. 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 Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Like the DJ, I think that the DJ, right? Dash Berlin. Yeah, that is the word, dash. Okay, good. Let's continue. Let's go with this part and let's talk about special dates. And something that is special is our birthdays. We talk about our birthdays. When we talk about birthdays, we tend to use ordinal numbers for days. Okay, so a common question is what is your birthday? When is your birthday? For example, my birthday is on October 15th. That is the way we structure and we use the months as of the year and the dates. My birthday is on October 15th. Okay. So the structure that we follow, talking about the answer that you give, the structure that we follow, con base en la, en la respuesta que uno da, the following. The special day plus the verb be plus the preposition on plus the month, which is October, and the date, which is the end. What is a special day? Special day, the special day is my birthday. Special day, my birthday. What is the verb be? Is. Verb be? Is. Is. Exactly. The preposition, well, this case is on, the preposition. Use the preposition one. Then we have the month. What is the month? What is the month? That in that case. October. 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 It, in my case, December. <laughs> December, exactly. Good. And the date. The date in this case is 15. 15. And that is the structure that we follow. It's a special day, the verb be. The preposition, the month, and at the end we have the date. Okay. One more time. 
when is your birthday? My birthday is on October 15th. What about you guys? Let's see, I will select some people. I'll go with Cesar Martinez. When is your birthday? And my birthday is on March 8th. Oh, it was some days ago. Okay, happy belated day, birthday, sorry. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, thank you. Ask Diaz, what is your birthday? My birthday is in September 7th. 7th, okay. Thank you. Carla Stephanie, what is your birthday? My birthday is on February 14th. 14th. 14th, okay. 14th. Yeah. Thanks. Carla Rivera, what is your birthday, Carla? Sorry, it's a birthday is 2020, 20, 20, 20? 2020, November. Okay, repeat again. My birthday is? My birthday, my birthday is on 20, November, November 22. Oh, okay, 22nd. 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 Oh, thank you. It's okay, it's okay. One more time. What is your birthday, Carla? My birthday is November 22nd. Is on, don't forget the preposition. It's My birthday on. is on 22nd. November on November 22nd. 22nd. No, November 22nd. Good, thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. What about Jose Portillo? When is your birthday? My birthday is on March 28th. 28th, oh, okay, so next week, right? Next week. Yes. Good. Sunday. On Sunday, okay. So you will take advantage of the vacation, right? Yes. Okay, nice. What about Thank you. Dalida Garcia? Galicia, sorry. You're welcome. Dalida Galicia, when is your birthday? When? Um, my birthday? Uh, nine, uh, June. 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 Uh, June. You for me? My birthday? Dalida? My birthday? Um, Can I repeat um, it My birthday? Uh, my birthday? Is? My birthday is? On? Uh, June? June mm, night. Nine. Okay, nine. Very okay, good. Nine. Your birthday is on June 9th. Oh, June 9th. Oh. Okay, good. Thank you. Alberto? Alberto Alicides, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on October 10th. On October 10th. Oh, okay, nice. So five days before my birthday. Okay, nice. Thank you. Mm. Welcome. Ana Francisca, when is your birthday? My birthday is on June 14th. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. What about Jose? With Jose Carlos Oriente, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on December 22nd. Yeah. Thank you. Carla Mariela, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 18th. Good. Joanna Beatriz, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on December 24th. 24th. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Really? 24th? Yes. Okay. That's nice. Thank you. I, I listened to someone at the teacher, I don't know. Okay, let's go with Ileana. Mariel, what is your birthday? My birthday is on April 19th. 
Okay, Aquí. April 19. Okay. Stephanie Alejandra, what is your birthday? Hello, my birthday Hello. is on January 13th. Okay, 13th. Again? 13th. 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 Okay, thanks. What is your birthday? Four. Four. Hello. Hello. And my birthday is on August 5th. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh. Claudia Victoria, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 6th. September? 6th. Oh, 6th, okay, good. Thank you. Bessie Manisol, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on June 10th. Okay, thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks. Mr. Ediberto, when is your birthday? Hello. Hello. My birthday is on September 8th. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Ernesto Arturo, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 25th. Okay. Thank you. Karen Elisa, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 17th. Okay. Thank you. Jose Carlos, when is your birthday? Uh, my, my birthday is on November 3rd. Okay, thank you. Jorge Jose, when is your birthday? Uh, my, break, my birthday is on February 16th. Right. Okay. Karen Natalie, when is your birthday? My birthday is on March 7th. Seven. Okay. Thank you. Tell me, Guadalupe, when is your birthday? Uh, my birthday is on September 19th. All right. Thank you. Elina, when is your birthday? My birthday, birthday is on December 4th. On December 4th. Okay. Thank you. And let's see, I will select another participant. Jennifer Sarai, when is your birthday? My birthday is on September 3rd. On September? September 3rd. Oh, okay, 3rd, 3rd. Three. 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 again, 3rd, 3rd. On September 3rd. Three. 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 On September 3rd. Third. 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 Right. Yeah. Third. Third. Thank you. All right. That is one Third. one of you know the special days that we have. Of course, we have more, like I said before. We were saying Mother's Day, Women's Day, Valentine's Day, Teacher's Day, uh, Christmas Day, New Year's Day. We're going to practice with that because that is we use the same way in order to express those things. Also, uh, and we're going to take into account the following structure. Okay, at the special day, for B, the preposition on, the month, and the date. Okay. We have another question. This is another special day in the Sabbath. When is Independence Day in the country, in El Salvador? Independence Day is? What do you think? Uh, it's on September. It's on September 15th. 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 Exactly. What is a special day? What is a special day? Teacher. Independence. Independence Day. Okay. Who said teacher? Tell me, tell me. Teacher, in the question when is uh, when you ask, say when is the Independence Day in our country, but yeah. in the ask where is on. Oh no! In that case, when when I say our country, I'm, I'm referring to to us because we're Salvadorian, we're in Salvador. So if I say the country, it's because I'm referring to to us, our country. Okay, country. And well, 
Another way to say is when is the when is Independence Day in El Salvador? Uh, so we can respond. We can respond. Independence Day is okay, on September 15th. Okay. Our teacher. Mi pregunta es por qué usted va a ocupar in en la pregunta y on en la respuesta. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. Well, in this case, because in our country, I'm referring to another part. In this case, with the preposition in, I'm referring to another case, another part of the speech. For example, if I say, when is Independence Day? Independence Day, the U.S. USA. So in that case, it's different. In that case is different. I mean, you know, we're using in. We're using in. Yeah. But it's because we have a place. We have a place, or so in this case, we have a country. We use that preposition in El Salvador, in uh, Costa Rica, in Spain, in Italy in the USA, but in that case, we use in because we're referring to the plate, country. And when you're saying days, you use on, you use on, like in this example, Independence Day is on September 15th. That's why we change prepositions, right? And let me explain this. When you say a date, you say a date, and for example, you say your birthday, we use on because we have the month cover and we use the date. In. But if you mention just the, the month, you say in, only in, in October. My birthday is in October because you don't mention the date. You use on when you have the month, the date. And you use in if you have just the Utilizamos on cuando tenemos el mes y el, y la fecha. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. For example, in this case, when is, when is Independence Day in our country or in El Salvador? Independence Day is in October 15. That is the answer. Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, let's go to this next part. What I want you to do in this case, you have to look at the special days provided. You're going to ask and answer questions with the proper information. For example, when is Valentine's Day? February. Valentine's Day is on? on February. February 14th. February 14th. 14th. Exactly. When is Valentine's Day? Uh, again, we use an in because in, sorry, have a place. In El Salvador. That is the, the proper preposition that we use. Valentine's Day is on? Say February. February 14th. February 14th. Pretty good. Okay. What are we going to do now? We're going to continue and we'll have more special days. What I want to do, guys, we're going to see those special days and you're going to ask questions. You're going to ask questions. All right? And what are those special days? Look, remember, you have to use the question when is, when it is, for is example, Holy when Week. Special, Holy Week, okay, when is Holy Week? Right, but in that case, when you say Holy Week, you have to be more specific because Holy Week means at the whole week. Cuando nos referimos a Semana Santa, it is, es diferente, porque estamos hablando de toda la semana. Um, probably if the question is in a different way, you can say it. 
si la pregunta es en la, una forma diferente, como ¿cuándo inicia Semana Santa? When is podría, begin? Podría ser, podría ser posible. When, is, when okay. it start, when it begin? When does Holy Week start? Uh, when the Holy Week starts. When does Holy Week start? You can say Holy Week starts on March, April. I don't know, I would say first. I'm not sure. On April 1st. That is different. When does Holy Week start? Because when we say Holy Week, referring to the whole week. When we refer to the Semana Santa, we refer to the whole week. It can't be possible with this structure. But if you, say, but if you say, when does Holy Week start? It's different. Holy Week starts on April 1st. The case of the Apico. This is the day that, well, this is the day that the Semana Santa starts. Okay? Well, I have the following special days here. We're going to ask some questions to different classmates. Special days that I bring for you are New Year's Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas Day, Children's Day. That is another special day. Okay. What I want you to do, guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes. I want you to write a question in your notebook. Choose one special day and write a question. Then you're going to ask a question to somebody else. Vamos una pregunta en cuadernos. Elijamos un una fecha en específico o un día en específico. Um, y hagamos la pregunta. Okay? Escribamos en su cuaderno. Luego vamos a hacer preguntas. Okay? Have a couple of minutes. Tenemos un par de minutos. Podemos hacer. Okay, en lo que estamos trabajando, voy a pasar listo nuevamente. And remember, say present. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Here. Ana García. Present teacher. Thanks. Ana Vicky García. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Lisset Diaz. Present. Astrid, Astrid, sorry, Lorena Muñoz. Present teacher. Pesi Arendi Avalos. Present teacher. Pesi Flores. Present teacher. All right. Cesar Martinez. Present. Cesar Arriola. Present. Claudia Ramos. Present. Here, Dalida Galicia. Present teacher. All right. Delmi Peña. Present teacher. Ernesto Arturo Garcia. Present teacher. All right. Stephanie Sea. Present teacher. Gerson, thank you. Gerson Rodriguez. Present teacher. Here, Elina Linares. Present teacher. Right. Ileana Mariel Alvarado. Present teacher. Ivan Patriz. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Vamos a saber si he pronunciado mal algún apellido. Okay. Joana Navarro. Present teacher. Thank you. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Okay. José Carlos Parrientos. Present teacher. Hector okay. Carlos Present. Rodriguez. Thanks. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Isaías Portillo. Present teacher. Karen Carballo. Present teacher. Karen Natalie Mengiva. Present teacher. Karen Renata Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Granados. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Patricia Rivera. Present teacher. All right. And Carla Stephanie Rosa Rubia. Present. Nice. 
Okay, listen, because we have a couple of minutes. Are you ready? Ready with the question? On listen? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, teacher. I will have some volunteers because, you know, because of the time, we don't have sure. much time. Uh, so, we can use, we can use other uh, special days. Sure, sure, you can. You can select okay. all the special days. Yeah, there we have some of them. Of course, we have more. Women's Day. For example, uh, I, I use Halloween. When is Halloween, Halloween in exactly. US? Exactly. When is Halloween Day? Yeah. Good. Halloween Day. All right. Who wants to help me? I need a volunteer. Teacher. Yeah. Me. Okay. Yeah, I have Karen Patricia Rivera and then Karen Rafa Flores. Good. Karen Rivera. Carla Rivera, sorry. Ask your question and select someone, please. Select someone. Okay. When is Mother Day in El Salvador? Um, Jose Carlos? Jose Carlos. Jose Carlos. Tenemos dos Jose Carlos. <laughs> Tenemos muchos José, tenemos muchas Carlos. Eh, who, who? Uh, Rientos who? Rodríguez. Parrietos o Rodríguez. José Carlos Rodríguez. Excuse me. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Hello. Repeat for please. Sure. Okay, José Carlos Rodríguez. When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Mother's Day in El Salvador. Uh, Mother's Day is on May 10th. It's on May 10th. May 10th. Good. Okay, let's go Thank on you. that. Thank you, too. Thank you, too. Let's go on that way. Uh, Jose Carlos Rodriguez, right? Jose Carlos Rodriguez, yes. please. Now it's your turn. Ask your question to somebody else. The next song. Uh, Mariel Alvarado. When is, okay. when is uh, Children's Day in El Salvador? I what don't is... know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me whether they please. Okay. When, when is uh, Father's Day in El Salvador? Okay. Father's Day is on uh, June 17. Exactly. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Diana, can you help me? Can you ask your question to Karen Flores, please? Okay, Karen Flores, when is Christmas Day in El Salvador? And Christmas Day is on December 20, 24th. Okay, 24th. Good. Here. All right, uh, Karen Flores, can you ask a question to somebody else? Select someone. Yes, teacher. Um, Jose Portillo. Uh, yes. When is um when when is Mother's Day in El Salvador? The Mother's Day is on um, May tenth. Okay. Nice. Are you Jose? Ask okay. Question. Okay, tell me Guadalupe Peña. When is Independence Day in the USA? Oh. <laughs> uh, please. Sure. When is the Independence Day in the USA? Hey, <laughs> July. Oh. Okay. Um, the independence uh, day it's on ¿Cómo digo? July. 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 Oh. 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 Someone and ask the question to that person. Okay, eh, yo pregunto, ¿verdad? 
Sure. Yeah. Uh, when is your uh, children's day in the Salvador? When is children's day in the Salvador? To whom? A quien? Uh, person, person Elias. Person Elias. Yeah. Let's see if Person Elias knows when is children's day. Yes. And repeat, please. For... Again. Uh, when is Children's Day in the Salvador? Uh, the Children's Day in Salvador is on October 1st. October 1st, yes. Good. Okay, and the last one. Person Elias, can you select somebody else and ask your question to your classroom, please? Okay. Um, 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 Carla Patricia? Okay. Um, when is uh, Christmas Day in El Salvador? Christmas in Christmas days is uh, um twenty 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 fourth fourth December twenty four only twenty four. It's on December. I mean, you, you say it's on December. You say first the month and then 24. Okay. Again, Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, Christmas Day. Christmas Day is on 24. December. December, December, December 24. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Good. All right. Well, listen, guys, because it's time. Um, I want to know if you have questions. Where to go? Oh, that's a good question, Alberto. You say labor, labor day. That is another one. Very good. Labor day. That is the way we say it. Yeah, el trabajo. Labor day. That is another special day. Very good. All right. Any questions? Is everything clear? Everything good? Once again, preguntas, dudas, estamos bien hasta acá. Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Well, everybody, we're going to stop right here because it's time. It's 10, 10. We will continue tomorrow with another session. Remember, we will have another session tomorrow. Y al inicio, alguien preguntó si la otra semana era vacación. Sí, la mañana sería la otra sesión y esperaremos hasta el 3 de abril. Right? Well, everybody, it has been a pleasure to be with you in this first day. We will continue during these 16 sessions. And again, it will be an honor to help you, contribute in your learning process. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. 30 students, 30 participants in the session. Okay. Have a good night, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good